uh, that we had concerns about. So we basically reinvented ourselves uh, to become an outdoor museum. So now when people show up, they're screened, we ask them to wear masks, we create a route through all, board all the ships and all the decks, and those are marked with arrows and a map that everyone has, and people are asked to space out. Uh, we have a, we have a, a limited capacity now, uh, more so than we once did, so there's plenty of room. So we did all those things to make it a safe and outdoor experience. So now it's an outdoor museum, it's in the fresh air, there's ventilation, and because you can't see all the spots inside the ships you once could, we used to charge people to, for a boat ride, a narrated tour, and now that's included with every admission. So everybody that comes to the museum gets a free boat ride, it's a 45 minute narrated tour of San Diego Bay, or one of our historic vessels, the Pilot or the Vietnam era swift boat. And when guests to come out here, and of course they're touring everything outside, what can they expect to see? Well, there's 10 ships, for one thing, and each one of them represents a different story, you know, in a different period in time. So it's kind of like time traveling in one respect. Each of those ships is a projection of the society that made it. So you can travel widely through time if you come here uh, and step on board the ships. They San Salvador, which is a 16th century Spanish galleon, all the way up to submarines that were diving, you know, hundreds of feet deep just a few years ago. And this is the first time you guys have opened up, correct? Or no, you opened up a for a couple days back in July. In July, yeah. We, we closed in March like everyone did, you know, when we had the, the first lockdown. And then as the numbers started trending down, uh, they decided, the authorities decided they could relax the standards, but that didn't last very long. They started trending up again. And then we were, as a museum with indoor galleries, we were classified as along with other museums is needing to close. So we were open all of six days in July and closed until just today. And we're only able to open a day because we basically reconfigured ourselves as an outdoor museum. And like you said, the majority of the museum has been moved to outside. You know, there are marks on the ground, arrows telling people which way to walk right. and everything. They have to wear a mask. Any other requirements that you guys put in place? Well, again, we, we, social distancing, you know. Uh, we do screen people when they come in. We, at one point, we're gonna do temperature checks, but we've been advised now that that doesn't really help anything, so that seems to be useless. But um, we just ask people to follow those basic rules, and they're the same ones that apply when you go shopping or, or go to a park or something of that nature. Well, thank you so much. This is a very exciting day. You guys are reopened. Yeah. It is a beautiful day out here. The wind is starting to pick up a little bit, cool it down just a little bit. That's because we are over in the Embarcadero, and it is about, you know, 88 degrees. As far as the rest of San Diego County, let's take a look at the current temperatures. It is, oh, you know, along the coast, it's mid-80s to high 80s along the coast, so it's pretty warm out there, and it's only increasing as we head into the inland valleys. High 80s to low 90s already and it's only 1040 and as we head into the deserts yes triple digits but make your way down to the coast and if you do waves one to three feet water temperature is 74 to 78 degrees high tide at 1232 low tide 636 the sunset at 725 while well, you're down there maybe take a dip in the water and that's because the high expected along the coast is mid 80s and it's going to climb maybe a little bit to low 90s but inland valleys are mid 90s mountains low to mid 80s and our deserts triple digits across the board let's take a look at our seven day forecast powered by accuweather and along the coast 84 today and sunday but low to mid 80s the rest of the week as far as the inland valleys we're only going to see increase in numbers in the inland valley 95 today and tomorrow as we head into the rest of the week mid 90s and a little bit of an increase on thursday as far as the mountains mid 80s today and tomorrow numbers rise as we head into the weekend to high 80s and the deserts triple digits across the board 110 today and around 114 the rest of the week very warm out there stay safe everyone head to the coast it's a beautiful sunny day as we are at the embarcadero the wind is on and it is beautiful i mean i am enjoying this weather i'm going to take a tour of the maritime museum so i'm going to send it back to you guys your day is made, Madison. You're in the I right mean, place. You, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, being on, being there at the Embarcadero definitely suits you, I think. Big time. All right, thanks, Madison.